Hi there, and thanks for joining me as I talk about the expectorants. Guafenicin is the best known and probably the most used expectorant. The word expectorant comes from the Latin word that means to expel something. And indeed, that's what the expectorants do. What they try to do is expel the mucus. And the way that they do this is a bit different from the mucolytic agents. The way that they do this is by irritating the receptors and making them produce a lot of thin and watery mucus. And the idea is to thin out the existing mucus, thereby allowing it to go up the mucociliary escalator system and get excreted. Guafenicin is oftentimes sold in cough medicines or as a cough medicine. It's not a cough suppressant, but rather it's going to, as I said, uh, get some of the mucus out of the airways. And of course, as we've talked about before, there's a lot of receptors in the lungs for cough. The cough receptors are all the way through the lungs. The expectorants would actually be able to, to help with certain types of cough that have mucus actually resting on the cough receptors. So don't think of it as a cough suppressant and also don't think of it as a cure-all for all coughs but it may help with certain kinds of cough where there's something resting, some mucus actually resting on the cough receptors. Most expectorants are relatively free of side effects, but there could be some gastric irritation when one takes guafenicin. The efficacy of guafenicin and any expectorant is going to be increased if the person takes plenty of water and actually does exercises. So with people with uh, chronic bronchitis, for instance, they would need to be taking expectorants all the time. And that is the point at which you really have to make recommendations about that extra water and the deep breathing exercises. And now you know that guafenicin is an expectorant. Being an expectorant, it's going to produce or help the body produce more thin and watery mucus. The thin and watery mucus is going to mix with the existing mucus and hopefully dilute it to the point where the mucus can get up the mucociliary escalator system or be coughed up. Guafenicin may be useful in decreasing certain types of cough, but it's the type of cough that would have the mucus resting on the cough receptors. <laughs>